Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I will be talking about my free right, why I bought it, and how I'm currently using it. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. I've been playing with fountain pen ink today. I have inky fingers. <laughs> Alright, so why I purchased a free right to begin with. So I actually work with authors on their world building, more specifically consistency within their world building, character building, all of that good stuff. Uh, it just allows them to be a little bit more on the creative side, not have to worry about the consistency so much because I can point out those little details and they're usually able to fix them very easily. It allows them to be more creative and not have to worry about that stuff. So. Where does a free write come in for that? I am a typewriter and paper and pen person. I'm not up on the digital age when it comes to typing. I've tried the laptop thing. It's not good for my eyes. I can't focus. It, it just all around has not been a productive thing for me to use. So typewriters, pen and paper, that's my jam. However, for the modern author, that's not so much of a great, it's not a real efficient tool for them to use. And going back and forth between paper notes and uh, their digital notes and everything hasn't been super efficient. This was the compromise and it has been a delightful one to date. So to get started with uh, why I chose this particular one, I like higher profile things to begin with. I like heavier products. Um, metal, I really enjoy. Things that have weight to them, just that's just what I like. So I went with the larger free write for that reason, but also I lost a great deal of feeling in my left middle finger last spring and it hasn't come back. So I needed a more raised keyboard as opposed to the traveler size free write that has a more flush keyboard. I've had the opportunity to use both free writes and this is the one that is more effective for me. So to start off, uh, how I actually have been using this free write over the past few months, mostly character building and world building. Uh, I have not updated the free write. I know that they have an update out. I haven't connected it to the Wi-Fi. I haven't needed to yet. Uh, that's something that I will be doing in the next few weeks and we'll hopefully have another update for you on how that's going. How I've been using it. So to cut on the free write, you just hit the little red button uh, and it will take you to whatever folder you're currently on. And I apologize if I have to blur some stuff out uh, because some of this is confidential. So it'll swap between your different folders. I have three available folders on this device. But within those folders, you can have as many subfolders as you want. Um, so for this one, this is a folder that I've left empty for these purposes. I just have a couple little notes here. You can select which document within the folder you want to get to with a number. So this one's pretty blank. And then I am free to type uh, and I can just keep going. So I will say uh, to get back to your document folders, you just hold down the special button. So whatever you initially type at the top is going to be your document title. So that's something to think about. Uh, I typically type a character's name and then any like small detail I might need to know about them, something that's ident an, an identifier, so I can see right off the bat what it is I'm looking at. That makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, the comfort comfortable scale of this free write is exceptional for me, especially even with the loss of feeling in that finger. Uh, it's been a lot more difficult to type on typewriters, uh, especially ones with you know more flush keys, so I've kind of gone to the old 1930s, 40s typewriters with those raised keys, those metal keys. So this has been pretty easy. I mess up occasionally. I'll hit random letters sometimes. I don't worry about it on this because I use it as a drafting tool. So I'm not worried about it too much. That makes me feel so much better. I don't know what it is about having to use a laptop or like Google Docs or something that puts more pressure on me to 
spell properly all of the time. Maybe it's that little zigzaggy line that we get that says, ah, you didn't spell that right, and you feel like you have to go back through and change it. Um, I don't know. I can't really praise this enough because it has been exactly what I needed. I use it to keep all of the details straight, the characters, on the world building. The first day that I ended up with my free write, I solved 30% of the current world building issues we were having with the story. And to put it, this in a little bit of perspective, the story that I'm working on spans thousands of years. It's an entire history that we're building. It's not just a, a one story kind of deal. So we're keeping a mass amount of detail together. This has been perfect. All right, so some of the functions of the free write might be a little difficult to remember while on camera. I will try. Uh, let's say I spelled something wrong. See, I would hit new and then the arrows to go back through. You can go a word at a time or you can go a letter at a time. So I'd be hitting new and shift and I want to go up a line, down a line. You can navigate to some extent. Um, I've been very comfortable with how this system works. I think it took me like an afternoon to get used to it and I was doing it without thinking. So yes, it's a little bit of a learning curve. It's not, not that difficult and I did get used to it very quickly. Uh, there are certain things. You've got your uh, new, if I needed a new document, you hold both the document buttons down, you get a completely new document within the folder that you're currently using. If you want to change your little screen down here for different information, so right now I can see from here that I'm in my A folder, which is also indicated here. Here, special button. Um, it will show you your reading time, your word count, and your character count. So that'll change, obviously, as you continue with your typing. Uh, hit it again, it will give you a timer so you know how long you have been writing. And then uh, no screen if that is too distracting for you altogether. I tend to keep it right here. So depending on how you write, if you time yourself, that's built in. I, I love that function. Sometimes I do. I give myself a certain amount of time as opposed to just sitting down and getting what's in my head onto this device for later. If you hold down the special button, that takes you back to the current documents within your folder. Uh, and there are a couple of other things you can get to. Um, I'm not going to get all into it in this video, but just overall, this has been a fantastic device for me. I would, I think it's well worth the money. I know a lot of people discuss the price and go, well, I could just buy a laptop for that. Exactly. But it's not a free write. So if a writing tool is what you're needing and based on the functionality of the product, you think this will do well for you. And this is what you need and not a laptop. So I love it. I take it everywhere with me. The battery lasts a long time. I typically charge it every three days just to keep it charged. Like that's kind of the habit I've got into. Uh, but yeah, the battery lasts a very long time. Laptop battery, not so much. I have to recharge my laptop every few hours with constant use. So that can be a pain. Uh, the e-ink screen is fantastic. I have an astigmatism uh, that makes, you know, screens really difficult for me to use. And uh, so having the e-ink screen with the uh, backlight has been wonderful. And you can adjust the intensity of that backlight. I love it. I can go outside in direct sunlight and be writing. This has been a really great product for me. So I have not connected to the Wi-Fi. I haven't actually taken any of the content off of this free write yet. So uh, I'll, I'll get into that when I do get there. I'll make another video and talk about how all of that goes and how I use the content after I get it off the free write. 
right now it's just draft level content, just keeping notes so that we know where we are with this story. I've used it for other books as well. I have been using the additional folders for other writing. Everything's just in draft stage right now. So it'll be interesting to see how I use the free write as that progresses. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I loved getting all of the questions about the free write. If you have any more, please leave me a comment below because I will be doing more videos about this in future and I might be able to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching and uh, set your story free.